In this video, we're going to explore the completely rebuilt and redesigned measurement tool inside of 3D Code 4.5. With the measure tool active here in the adjust section of the tool panel, you can see in the tool options panel, we have at the very top the ability to change different units of measure. I'll choose meters and when you go to the geometry menu under define measurement units you'll notice this changes accordingly to what you have chosen in the tool options panel here so let me click cancel so when I change to millimeters you'll see it changes here as well okay the next item is digits after comma or period and that just determines how many numbers you have. Uh, let's go ahead and just click our first point. As you move your mouse, it drags this line. So we're going to click our end point or our second point and hit escape. And you can see the measurement here in the very middle. And after the point, you have three digits. So we can change that to two, and it changes accordingly. At any point in time, if you want to create an intermediate point, you can just hover over the line and click. And now you have a new intermediate point with distances shown in between each point. Okay, I can hover over any one of these points to reposition it if I need. You have to be a little bit careful on the endpoints because it assumes you want to resume creating a line, so I'll hit escape. I'll click this endpoint here, hit escape. You can hover over a point, left mouse click and drag, and bring it over the top of another point, and it will remove that one. Click a few more points here. I'll bring it over the top of this one. And you can see it effectively deleted that point. Okay, so I might create one here as well. And if you want, you can go to the very bottom here with this little drop list toggle to show some more options. You can hide distances if you need. You can click here to make it curved. This works best whenever you're working on a round or spherical shaped object or individual shapes inside of an object that aren't quite so straight. So I'll uncheck that. Let's go ahead and click clear. And if you at any point in time want to save a measurement or a line, you can do that and reload it later. And you can load it on another object as well. The next thing we want to look at is constraints and this just allows you to constrain the line that you create along X, Y, and Z, screen space, along an individual axis or along a specific plane. Okay, and fixed length is going to create a line in these fixed units here. So let's try one. And I'll click, and you can see it wants to stay at that length. So I'll click to create my second point. I'll hit Escape to complete the initial creation of the line. And I'll uncheck that. But you'll notice how you can not only uh, create two points, but you can continue. Creating geodesic lines. And again, you can make that go around an object if you need. Let's click clear. And use distance snapping. And this just as the name implies, it's just going to try and snap along a specific length that you designate here. So if I click, start to drag, you can see how it's, it's popping at those predefined limits. So I'll click. So this might be a nice way to kind of stair step if you need. Clear. And remember, 
If you want, you can use maybe your 2D grid with snapping on. Snap 2D grid, you could create your line this way as well. Let me escape clear and uncheck that distance snapping. But yeah, so you already have snapping. Escape. And where this can be handy is you can now uh, go ahead and hide that 2D grid. And you can use this to constrain a brush stroke along these specific lines. So you don't necessarily have to use this as a measurement tool. You can just use it as a guide if you need. So let's go ahead and take a practical look at that. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click on the visibility icon of this helmet to isolate it. And I'll go to a orthographic view. And let's say I wanted to use the pinch tool along a nice crisp line here. I can use this to create a nice straight line. Click on my second point. I just want a single line, so I'll hit escape. And with that done, I can now go ahead and choose show and other tools. So that's going to remain visible even after I step out of the measurement tool. And I also want to snap to the guides here that I have when I'm using another tool. So I'll click on that and I may want to create a few intermediate points here. Try to straighten that up just a bit more. And I'm going to bring that over this other one to delete it. The other alternative method I could use to delete this point is just double clicking on it. So with that done now I'm ready to step out of this tool and let's try the pinch brush. And I may turn steady stroke on just to make sure it's steady along this line and doesn't really try to deviate at any point. Uh, although along the stroke it's it's going to be snapping to these points. Okay, and with pinch, I probably want to increase my fall off so it's kind of smooth. And um, I want it to pinch more outward than inward, so I'm going to hold down the control key and brush. And the artifact you see there is just temporary. I think it's an OpenGL artifact, DirectX. You probably won't see that. So I'm going to let out, and as soon as I move just a little bit, that artifacting is gone. Okay, so you can see how that allowed me to make a nice crisp line using the pinch tool. So to get out of that, just go back to the measurement tool. Again, if I want to come back to this, I can save it and load it. In this case, I'll just clear it. And there we have it. I would probably go ahead and smooth it at this point, but for demonstration purposes, we'll move on. So undo. And then you have this long tool tip that helps explain much of what I've already covered, if you should forget. But that's a quick look at the new measurement tool. Again, it works exactly the same way here in the Paint Workspace when you click on the measurement tool at the very end. In the Tool Options panel, you can see all the same options here. Okay, so I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.